This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is the Stanley Model CD8820. Now, I recently posted a video of picking and reviewing this lock, and this is the CD8823. And I concluded it was an excellent security value at $17. A lot of high-end features, very impressive for the money. So I went on Stanley's website to see what else they had. And this lock was the king of the hill. The best padlock that they offered, the Model 8820. Now, there are a couple obvious differences. We traded in the laminated construction for a solid steel, hardened steel body. It's expanded in most dimensions. This is a 60 millimeter instead of a 50 millimeter padlock. And then we have an 11 millimeter molybdenum alloy shackle instead of the 10 millimeter. We still have the anti-drill features, including this spinner on the bottom of the, the padlock and a ball bearing behind that plate guarding the pin stack. Now, one thing I did notice on Stanley's website is that this lock is ASTM grade five certified. And I had no clue what that meant. So I went on the internet and found the ASTM standard for performance specification. I'm sorry, standard performance specification for padlocks. And if we turn to page six, we can see some pick resistance stats. And for picking or manipulating this lock at grade five should last eight minutes. So that certainly interested me. So we are gonna test that today. We are gonna see just how long this padlock holds up to a pick attack. I'm gonna use top of the keyway tension with this 50 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Okay, one's loose, two's loose, three's loose, four's loose. Okay, a little click out of five. Actually, a couple clicks there. Six is loose. One's loose, two's loose. Hmm. Something out of three. Maybe some movement on the core. Nothing on four, five. Okay, six is binding now. Actually, a little counter rotation on six on before the second click. Okay, nothing on one. Click out of two. Nothing from three, four, click out of five, nothing on six, and one opened her up. <laughs> so clearly just a little bit less time than eight minutes, but let's, uh, let's take this lock apart and see what's inside. Now this lock comes apart the same way as the 8823 with the nut on the opposite side from the shackle hole, which means we need to remove the shackle before we can get the lock apart. That's done with this hex screw right here. Okay, with the shackle out, let's see if we can get the shackle spring out of the hole there. And we can now access the screw that holds this bottom plate in. <clears throat> okay, we got the screw out. Okay, looking at that, we can see the spinner right here. And then we also have that little ball bearing guarding the pin stack. And then here is the core of the lock. Okay, let's get this core apart. OK, 
Okay, let's drop the key pins out first. <clears throat> Standard in one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, all standard pins. They look silver in color. And let's test them out to see if they're magnetic at all, or if the magnet attracts them, I should say. And the answer is no. So they're probably nickel silver for wear resistance. Okay, now let's also take a look at the core here because it has a great feature and that is counter milling in each of the six slots. And what that does is make even standard pins act like security pins. You have to pick them a couple times and they make security pins even harder. So a great feature. Let's take a look at the driver pins now. <clears throat> Okay, number one, I guess you call that a shallow spool or a single serration. Number two is standard. Three is standard. Four is standard. Five is a modified standard with narrowing on the ends. And we'll have to check the springs out. That felt like a much, much more powerful spring in number five. And then six is serrated. <coughs> okay, let's dump these springs out, take a look. Okay, it looks like we have one steel spring and the rest are either copper or bronze. And let me feel that. Okay, much more powerful spring here. I'm guessing this number five slot is meant to, to help with bump resistance. Now, before I give you a close up of these pins, one side note. This is a standard key and knob size cylinder, which means if you're not happy with the pick, pick resistance of this lock, you can replace it with any other pick res, uh, similarly sized cylinder. That includes Acetwins, Medicos. I've got a Multilock Interactive that would fit right in there. I have a couple of, of Primuses, a Primus and an Everest Primus that would fit right into here. And it would really turn this into a formidable lock. However, all in all, we have a pretty good lock here. Little bit of overpromising from the company, clearly not eight minutes of pick resistance there. But all in all, a solid lock for, I think about 35 bucks is what I've paid for it. So about double of the price of this lock. Still a pretty good security value, but not the incredible value that this 8823 is. Okay, let's take a close look at these pins now. So you can see all standard key pins in nickel silver. And then in number one, we have a single serration driver pin, number six, a double serration, number five, a modified standard. That's probably our anti-bump pin stack with that stronger steel spring. And then three standard driver pins in slots two, three, and four. Moving over to the core, we can see counter milling in all six slots. It's a high-end feature and it makes all of the pins pick just a little bit harder. So very nice features overall in this Stanley Model 8820. That's all I have for you on it. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.